Well, it is now time to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, from Aww. all of our hearts, and farewell to you, my friend, my co-anchor, my mentor, colleague. I mean, not enough words to describe how awesome you are. Kim, the day has come. The moment has arrived, and wow, what a wonderful journey. The past 42 years have been at WGAL. My sweet daughters, Meg and Morgan, always know the right things to say to get me to the other side of things. And Morgan said, Mommy, we are proud of you. And Meg said, it's harvest time. And so it is, it's time for me to harvest the work of a long and wonderful career and also to say thank you. It is no accident that this is Thanksgiving Eve, one of my favorite holidays. And some of the first words out of my mouth must be Thanksgiving to the Hearst Corporation and the management team here at WGAL, Justin, Eric, Kimberly, John, and my beloved Rhonda, and to Dan in Kansas City. You have stood by me personally and professionally in ways I could not have fathomed, and I am deeply grateful. Thank you especially to Naz, our news director, for such a love-filled send-off. I am blown away. I must also extend my thanksgiving to my kind and talented coworkers. I've had a front row seat to your excellence for decades, and I am proud to hold you among my dear friends. Thank you also to the late Mary Jane Landis for seeing something in me worth having, and to the team behind the scenes, our producers, our camera crew, our photographers and technicians, you are unparalleled in your excellence. And I want each of you watching right now to hear this from the deepest part of me. It has been such a privilege to work in the place where I was born, and grew up. Thank you. And when you tell me that you've watched me since you were little and now your children and your grandchildren watch, well, it makes my heart want to burst. My heart is full of thanksgiving also for my friends. You know who you are. You have been like sisters to me through so much. Thank you. And last, I want to thank my father, Dean, who is living, and my late mother, Shirley, for giving me a great childhood and helping me to believe that all things are possible. And as my mother used to say about my time here at WGAL, Kimmy, you were born to do this. I want to thank my son-in-law, Dan, and my children, Meg and Morgan. You have been the greatest joy in my life and my deepest strength. I am so proud to be your mother. And finally, I want to thank my beloved husband, John. John, I called your caregivers, and I ask that you be put in front of the TV to hear me tonight. John, thank you. You are still the most elegant man I have ever met, and you have been a wonderful supporter of me and my work for the past 42 years. I know that we have been blindsided by this unexpected dementia ordeal, but you are still there, and I get it, and I feel it. Thank you. So now the page is turned on a new era here at WGAL, arguably one of the best television stations in the country. You have my blessing, and more than that, you have my life's work. Make me proud. I love you all. Thank you. We love you too. So much. Yeah, Thank you. So much. It's, it's uh, no coincidence we call Kim around the newsroom the franchise. Uh, <laughs> she uh, has carried us and this station for a long time. People ask me all the time out in public, um, Hey, what's Kim like in real life? And I tell her what yep. you see on the air is exactly right. what you get. She is as sweet as a Georgia peach. She is kind and loving and has a huge heart. You're one of the most authentic and genuine people I've ever oh. known and worked with. And Kim has been Thank such a you. pleasure. We are going to miss you. Kind so and classy. That's yes. what I always oh, say. And you know gosh. what I'm going to say, right? Go ahead, say it. Can't wait till tomorrow, girl. You get more beautiful every day. <laughs> well, I hope that I have adequately, adequately expressed my thanksgiving, but Danielle, I want to turn the table to you now and say I wish you luck. You are a beautiful spirit and a kind heart, and you are something. You're a thank rock you, star. Kim. I've oh. learned so much from you, and I, I mean, I can't ever say thank you enough just for being in my corner and rooting for me and, and supporting me over the years, and I, I can't wait till to, to All right. carry on. Ten seconds. Steps, so. That's it. Thank you. My work here is done. Good night. <laughs>